Hello everyone. Uh, this is a video about how to install R and R Studio on Windows 10. Now I have put down the steps here to download R and R Studio. Uh, I'll be following it step by step. Now we can either go to the respective websites for R and R Studio or we can do the respective searches. So I'll I'll take it one by one. Let's go to this website. Now to download R we have to go to cran.r-project.org and after going here we have to click on download R for Windows then we have to click on base and then download R 3.3.3 for Windows. Now please note if you are doing this at a later point of time then this version might be different. So let us start. Okay, now here it gives you different options for Linux, Mac and Windows. Now I am using Windows 10 so I will go download, go on to download R for Windows. Now if you are using Mac then you can go to the second link. Now we have to click on base as I mentioned we have to go to base and then we have to click on download R the version 3.3.3 .3. this is the la latest version as of now when I am recording this video so let us click so ok desktop ok so this will download now we can also uh, do a search for download R it will also take you to the same link so let us go to download R and once you do this you have to select the latest CRAN link so as you can see uh, it's already taking you to the to the first link this one this is the latest cran link so just click on this now this and this both the links are same so it's downloading so let it download uh, i'll show you the steps to download r studio till it uh, it's the, till the download is complete now to download r studio we have to go to the R studio website and you have to click on download R studio now this takes you to a different page where it says choose your version of R studio now scroll down and you can see that our studio desktop open source license free so this is what we want to download so click on download now it takes you to installers for supported platform now for me it's windows 10 so i'll click on this for mac or for linux users you can click on the respective links so i'm clicking on this one Oops. okay Okay, so this this one is an 81.9 MB file, and R is about 70.8 MB file. So please make sure your internet connection is fine when you are downloading this. So I let it download. Till then I'll pause and I'll come back once the download is complete to complete the installation. Uh, so as you can see both the downloads are complete so the first step is to to install R so whenever you are doing this uh, you are downloading R as well as R studio the first step would be to install R first and then later R studio so let us go ahead with installing R so the, here is the setup R-3.3.3 win.exe so I am clicking on this yes I am selecting English ok so welcome to the R for Windows 3.3.3 .3 setup wizard ok next ok I am keeping it in the default directory C program files R R in the version ok you can select both or if you know which version is it is for your operating system uh, for me it's uh, 64 bit so I, I'm just keeping it the default 
please specify yes or no then click uh, next so if you want to customize you can customize it you you need to select few things so but let's uh, take the default and accept defaults okay S select start menu folder okay don't create a starter menu folder it's okay create a desktop icon save version number in the registry associate r with dot r data files okay let's click next okay so this is installing r so it might take few men few minutes or seconds maybe so just want to want you to know that this cran uh, cran here stands for comprehensive r archive net, net network okay so this is complete completing the r for windows setup wizard okay this is finish so let's see whether r got installed or not okay it's coming here see it's uh, r64 bit okay i'll just click on this okay so so it's opening so i'll close this for a while no and i'll install r studio now just one more thing till it starts uh, when you go to the r studio website in case this link doesn't show up or it or, or this panel moves like some suppose it goes to the next one so you can go to the r setup through products r studio and you go to desktop run r studio on your desktop just click on this go down download r studio desktop so basically it will take you to the to the same um, uh, same page and you can click on download and it will take you to the installer page okay why didn't it start okay this let's see okay okay welcome to our studio setup wizard next destination folder is i am taking it as default next our studio okay it's installing so basically what i was saying was uh, okay okay i think it took the first one so i'm just uh, keeping it now this time uh, yeah i was saying earlier that uh, you can go to the r studio website through through the different way just in case on the uh, front page or on the landing page you are not able to see this download r studio link okay so it's finished completing the r studio setup wizard finish okay so r and r studio are installed see i can see the r studio icon here so i'll click on this this opening okay so this is the default uh, screen which comes when you open r studio for the first time now we'll have different options here like you want to create r script r notebook r markdown shiny web application i'll cover this later point of time but just to see whether it's working or not i'll create an r script file here or oh, let's let's create let's do it directly here first data empty cars had empty cars okay so it's coming now uh, empty cars by the way it comes by default with our studio now let's open our an r script and do the same thing just just if you want to know one shortcut if you want to clear whatever is in the console you press control l now this is the source uh, where you write your script this is the console here on the left bottom then here you will get all your environment variables and over here on the right side bottom you have files plots if you plot any graph or something it will come here all the packages 
it will come here and the help window also and viewer so let's uh, check if it's working in the source as well i'll repeat the same commands head empty cars now in this case you'll have to press control enter okay so it's it's coming it's working fine so thank you thanks a lot i hope it helped take care